Hey, good evening everybody. This is Janice coming from Winnipeg. I hope that you have a nice relaxing weekend so far, that uh, you have done some personal development or recharge and relaxation and caught up on some sleep. Tonight I want to talk about numbers. As you know, I'm being a pharmacist a lot of times, uh, patient and people come to me and say, hey, you know, this is my weight. This is, you know, the scale and I've been doing this and doing that to lose my weight, but on my scale, hi Bill, on my scale, it does not change at all. And they get frustrated, they get upset, and some actually even get really angry saying that they've been doing all these things and how come the scale weight doesn't change. Well, the thing is, when I talk to them, I talk to them, tell them and said, you, ju you just can't look at the, you know, number on the scale. You have to look at with your exercise or eating properly or doing meditation or breathing techniques. Are you feeling better? Do you have more energy? How are your clothes fitting? All of that need to be accounted for. It's your bar movement better. Are you sleeping better? All of that has to be accounted for with the scale pound weight that you're seeing. Because sometimes, even though you may not lose weight, when you're eating properly, you do a bit of exercise, you're you know doing meditation, mind body walk, you may lose fat pound and you may gain muscle. If you gain muscle and you lose fat, a pound to a pound, you're not going to see anything different on the scale, but your clothing will fit better. If you gain muscle and lose fat, you're going to have more energy. And also that because you lose fat, you have less inflammation, you have you know, less aches and pains and losing fat. And with that, you may uh, have a better detox and cleansing. And if that happened, your mind and your focus will be better. So, you know, always, you just can't look at the weight and then, uh, you know, skill weight and then go with that. It. It's the same thing. Sometimes, you know, you go to the doctor and you got the blood test done and then based on the blood test, you're going to say, oh, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. You cannot just look at the blood test. That's a guide. And based on that guide, you have to look at, okay, what should I be doing to improve this if there's any concern with it? And then go from there. Uh, don't just look at the number and then think that this is a dead sentence. So I hope that this is helpful. I'm talking about this because... I'm actually starting a metabolic cleanse seven day program myself, doing some fasting, etc. So before I'm doing it, I'm supposed to wait, uh, you know, measure my weight, etc. So instead of doing that, I actually measure my body composition. So with the machine that I have at my practice, the body composition will, that testing will tell me what's the fat percentage, what's the muscle mask, and also what is my calorie intake needs, etc. And give me a guesstimate of how much muscle I need to gain or uh, how much fat percentage I need to lose. So I did that and even then that's going to be my guide with other, um, you know, features and other uh, parameters that I'm really monitoring, like am I sleeping better, do I have a more energy, and do I have better concentration, etc. And those will be all part and parcel of holistic approach rather than just the numbers that I measure. So I hope that uh, this is helpful information for you when uh, you look at your skill weight or when you see some lab data from the your, you know, doctor and uh, testing, etc. If you have a specific uh, 
information that you want to discuss with me, for sure, uh, message me. And I hope that you will follow me for next at least seven days because I'm going to be talking about uh, how I feel with doing this uh, transform Transformation Challenge and uh, Detox for next seven days. Have a great evening.